guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 3 of season 3 of Kaguya Summer Love is War. So let's go ahead and get started, and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my boob. <laughs> Should we kill him? <laughs> the title. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, okay, I can't believe we're gonna say this, but you know, there are ways that we, you know, you know, to make a body, you know, not discoverable, you know, just. <laughs> Well, they don't really look close, though. Yeah. Uh. Kogia, oh my god. No! a real good question because then you know because everybody has their different opinion on what defines as cheating and woo oh lord that's like that one dude on tiktok who was like oh yeah if your girl has an instagram and if she takes pictures of like her being slutty i was like what <laughs> Okay, and what you find? Oh, we know, but we gotta make sure. Okay, then he's not cheating on you. Yeah. <laughs> this is just straight up bad news, like entirely. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were getting something for you. Exactly. How can you be so sure about that? Because he's probably shopping for you. Oh my god. Oh, well, that's a little fucked up. I mean, yes, last week. <laughs> yes, it sure is.
Yes, but some people go to karaoke to get lucky. I wouldn't really consider that cheating, though. That's so fucking cute. Definitely good taste. I would, it's cute! I mean, damn, though. <laughs> it's a kiss, but a different type of kiss. <laughs> I mean, seriously, if they kiss like that, why don't they just fuck? I mean, damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you no, know, because clearly your best friend has like the hots for your boyfriend. I know, boo. I know that feeling. When you can look, but you can't fucking touch. <laughs> Being depressed. Depressed. I mean, you know, you could just go after another guy, but you just don't want to go after your friend's boyfriend. That's wrong. Besides, you would be the other woman. That's wrong.
Yeah, but it's complicated. He's dating someone else. Exactly. Yes. Okay, see, you say that, but let's say they get engaged. What the fuck you gonna do? I mean, and besides, we literally just saw those two, like, literally fucking make out. Yeah. Mm hmm I mean, but it's the truth, though. No, you don't want to do that. You're the other fucking woman. This isn't going to end well for you. Fuck no. Oh my god. Yeah, but she's clearly going to be a whore now because she's going to try to steal me. God. They're really gonna fucking help Maki. Oh my god.
<laughs> I mean, no offense, we need kind of one more guy. I mean, it would make sense, because usually it's like that on a group date. goes. Hmm. Well, of course. <laughs> This gonna hurt her feelings. She can just use in her shiny cold voice. Stop! I can't! <laughs> Excuse me.
I don't even know what to fucking say about this episode. Okay. I do. Oh, hello, Cody. Um, I love the fact that we went into the cheating a scandal this week. Because, I mean, hey, it's something that, you know, when you are truly in a relationship with someone, that's when you start asking certain questions. Especially when you think, like, oh, hey, like, the romance and, like, our relationship is okay. But then secretly you're feeling, like, certain feelings and you're like, you know what, damn it, I need to talk to my girlfriends or my guy friends about this. But it, it just makes you what, like, because like I said, everyone has their own different opinions on what is cheating. There are some girls who are, like, who say to their boyfriends, like, I don't want you to hang out with any other fucking girls and I have met some of my girlfriends, my friends, who are also chicks, who have done that to their boyfriends. And I think that's crazy. You have to have trust for your significant other. Not only them, but yourself as well and such. It's not like, yeah, you can be smart and be like, okay, you know what? I'm going to put you on this app thing. And we're going to be on there so it could show you where you're going and such. And who you're hanging out with. Because you care about their safety. Not the cheating as scandal and such. I thought it was really interesting though. But oh, you just like, mm. <laughs> Did that hit home for me? Not really. But you know, like, <laughs> situations where I've been in with my other friends. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That hit home a little bit. But the fact is that freaking... Lord, that like... <laughs> a lot of Kanye's relatives... Was like, yes, I am okay with being the other woman. Bitch, do you not know what always happens with the other woman? Like, in the end. So, let's let's think about this for an example. 50 out of 50 or sometimes even 100%. So, if you are the other quote-unquote man or woman who comes and destroys a relationship of whoever. So, let's say like me and person B decide to date. And let's say person C is person A is like, <laughs> me <laughs> they, they've been like my best friend and they've been wanting to get with me forever and such even though I keep telling them no 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 I love person B with all my heart da, 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 da. but let's say finally one day I'm like you know what fuck it let me be with this guy you're always gonna be that other man in the end we already know this isn't gonna work out possibly because of the fact is we're probably going to constantly fight and bicker and shit. And in the end, boom, we're going to, like, break up and so shit. And that's why sometimes you don't really want to be the other man or the other woman coming into a relationship that is so powerful. Like I said, we literally saw these two making out. Literally. Like, I mean, they were making out so much. I thought they was about to fucking, like, fuck on the damn screen. But, like, are we really doing this with this show? Oh, my God. <laughs> but... <laughs> didn't thank god but it felt like we were going that way I, I mean because those two it seems like they love each other so freaking much and i mean it was sweet that he asked his his girlfriend's best friend you know hey can you come out with me shop for my girlfriend see something that she would like because some guys have done that they've asked their girlfriend's best friend whether it's a guy or a girl to help them with finding something for their significant other and then the situation on, <laughs> which is so funny to me, with the fact is the girls were like, who the fuck wants a heart necklace? A heart necklace is cute. That's signifying his love for her. I mean, damn. Like, one Valentine's Day, I got a heart necklace. Even though me and him aren't together anymore. I got one, and I got a, like, um, a cute little bottle with roses in it and a cute little letter and shit. <laughs> but, yeah, I thought that was fucking cute. <laughs> But if it was like the other way 
around, like, I think the perfect gift that I would probably give, like, my either future boyfriend, future husband, significant other, whatever, like, for my, my boyfriend or my husband, I don't know if I would get, like, would I give him cufflinks? I mean, it depends. Um, if he's a gamer, like... <laughs> It's just like me that the possibilities on that is fucking endless. But I really enjoyed this episode. This might have to be my favorite episode of this season for as of now or, you know, kind of episode one with <laughs> some more sexy boys. And I love the fact that they brought them back in this episode. I just, I want a whole, whole fucking episode just on them. So it's like, yeah, girl! <laughs> yeah, fucking girl! <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is a reaction to be towards episode three of season three of Cocking of Some Mud Love Us War. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode four. Bye, guys.